right, gang, you're back. I'm glad you're back. It's another episode, and yes, I'm gonna do the same thing over. I'm gonna drag you out tournament bass fishing. It's the average Joe solo on Truman Lake. It's just myself, because only one guy in these solos. So it's a neat kind of, makes the launch a little rougher than, than normal, because nobody's got help. But <clears throat> other than that, it's a neat format, really causes you to fish efficiently. You got nobody else to pick up the slack there when, you, when, you're, uh, when you're not getting it done. So that's the beauty of the solo, I think, and I think that's the popularity of it, because they're really popular in my area. They've even got a big giant circuit. I haven't been able to work them into my schedule yet, but it is a goal of mine eventually. The average Joe Solo happens at my little lake, so or my big lake, so uh, that's what we're going to do. The fish are set up towards the back. Um, they're getting ready to go in this video. They haven't gone yet. Water's in the 58 to 62 range, so everything's right. Maybe the moon phase isn't quite right, but they're all back in these areas, and they're fairly aggressive. So, uh, interesting to me that that I've done so good with that square bill crankbait this year. <clears throat> I don't ever remember doing quite so good right as they're pulling up and picking the areas. Um, I'm curious what most of you guys think that the bass think that is. I even put orange dots on it, <clears throat> you know, thinking early in the year that they thought it was a crawdad and I haven't taken them off or anything and I'm still throwing it. So I wonder if they think it's a green-eared sunfish or a crawdad. Not that it really matters, I guess, because once they're hooked up and in the box, mission accomplished. But it does, it does, it does make me wonder, because um, there's a moment in time when they will chase a green-eared sunfish up onto the bank. The hatred is so aggressive during the spawn. So um, I even witnessed witnessed that just last weekend. Saw. So uh, what I thought was a green-eared sunfish, I guess it could have been a big gizzard shad because it was 70 feet away, and I just caught it out of the corner of my eye, but I last 10 minutes of the tournament, I fired a Berkeley cane walker up there. Chuka, chuka, chuka. <laughs> Swung that dude in and cold while I was idling out. It's fun stuff. Man, it should be an incredible video. Um, but I've even got uh, I got a win coming up. Uh, watch this watch this video all the way to the end when I preview the next video. Oh my god, it's a great time with Blake Hart, and we win that event. So ride along with me. Subscribe if you haven't. Share, like, comment. All comments are considered here. All opinions are valid. It is okay to disagree. I promise you. For every one side of a coin, there's an opposite side of that coin. There's another story that probably has as much validity as the other story. So your opinion is warranted here. If you leave me a comment on the video, it helps drive it. Subscribe. Only about 20% of you have subscribed. I know I'm not a real super attractive fella, so give a guy a break. It's the only way I got for you to, su to support the channel currently. We'll see if we can't get the merchandising going again. And uh, it's Truman Lake. They're biting. Here we go. <laughs>
is a big one. Come on up here. <laughs> Barely got her. <laughs> oh, we're gonna catch him tomorrow, boys. Had an awesome practice, but it looks like we're about to have a hailstorm. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Good. Did Philip talk to you about some PDR work? Yeah, a lot of people have. Oh my gosh! How about them poor kayakers? They couldn't even get off the lake. I know. 80, it's 150, isn't it, this yes, year? Yes, sir. Putting more money into the solos like everybody wants. So there's a hundred. There's a hundred. Well, I think I got a 10. Well, if not, I got change. Do you? Yeah, I got a 10 if you got another 20. That's a 20. There you go, sir. Till three, 
Yes, sir. Everything's the same as usual. 15 inch on everything. Your boat number seven. Bucky seven. Hey, congrats on that wind down there living the fish. I'm glad you came out the other day. That's yeah, when they came to Truman last year. We yeah. won that. I know. <laughs> Number one.
California. Might be a keeper.
Seven. Okay. No, are you kidding? I think I got a hold of it was big. Came off. Caught a lot of fish though. Saw some beds. 
I saw one yesterday. I caught it off the off it. I couldn't make a bite today. They're there. They're already there. But they're all like that. Very, very back on the, you know, like on the right where it's the warmest. Yahoo! I went too good to go today. A couple four pounders would go real good in that sack. Oh, I had two opportunity, two of them. wraps up the average Joe solo on a very windy Truman Lake. You know, as bass fishermen, we'd love to correct our mistakes, but I can't tell you I know what's happening. It's happening on several different setups and jig, crankbait, doesn't seem to matter. Spinnerbait, they're getting away. And I think it's kind of comes in like a spells because I got it. Hoping that it ends. Hey, if this is your kind of thing, smash the like button. Consider subscribing. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Oh. Little. They're biting it though. Biting it. I just gotta get it in front of it. Truman googly eyed seven pounder. It's exactly what we both want. There's nothing wrong with the wanting that either. Like that. Oh. My trailer? Did you hit my trailer? I let him have it forever. Huh. You help me. Oh, it's coming in. Yes. Yes. When I saw how big it was, I just said it's coming. <laughs> oh. oh. I see you talking over there, there, trying not to stare, but you like what you see. Mm -hmm. Moon walking on the air, yeah, it ain't even fair, so on top of the beat. Better listen up, we about to make it happen. So